So, Jackie, the, you, we, we just heard you have some breaking news for us. Give us the latest. I do. Breaking news is that Vincent Joe will not be competing in the men's short program wow. tomorrow. Oh. So he's done um, for the individual event. Oh. It's, it's just really unfortunate. Um, and, and I think about what's been happening, too. Like, he's been here for, what, 10, 11 days? He's one of the people who consistently wears masks on practices. I, I just don't know. I, I, I have no idea. Like, it's, it's just crazy. Well, I know that Nathan has been in close contact with Vincent. I'm, I'm praying there's never been anything, you know, going on as far as exposure or anything else. But how is Nathan continuing to look in practice? You've been tracking his jumps and tracking all of his demeanor on the ice. How does he look? Well, the, the interesting thing is I, 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 I don't know if it's me projecting or other people also projecting, but <laughs> it just feels like after he hit that clean short in the team event, his practices snapped into a very different rhythm. And then today, and we'll talk about this in a little bit, but today when Yuzuru Hanyu finally arrived and came on practice, it snapped into yet another level. And, and there was oh, this, game this on. sort of like intensity <laughs> about what he was doing, but it was just, it was a focused intensity. It was really just like, that's the Nathan I, I'm so used to seeing at World Championships doing you know, clean run throughs, just, you know, drilling his jumps the way that he wants to. And, and he's rounding out into form. You know, it's um, the thing about Vincent Joe as well. It's a too late to call in Ilya Malinin, who skated lights out at the national championships, who's his alternate. So that's sad. But, um, hey, I was at the first practice for Nancy, Nancy and Tanya in Lillehammer. And Hanyu just arrived, and I understand that it was quite the fiasco at his first practice. So I wouldn't call it a fiasco. It was actually a very <laughs> controlled environment. So COVID protocols, right? Um, four years ago, I remember when I was in Pyeongchang, it was when you went to the practice rink, it was literally just like stuffed. Everybody was there. Everybody was just kind of sitting on top of each other. Here, the practice rink, there's very little media seating. I think it was like maximum capacity was 30 people. And so what happened today was basically um, all, the, all the journalists went and basically camped out over there during the team event. And by the time, you know, I think probably by the time an hour before the team event ended, the practice rink was already full with journalists. And, and so um, it, it got to be basically impossible to get in there. So uh, luckily I had some folks in there who, who, were, who are trusted sources who were able to give me some intel. There was also streaming on Peacock, um, some live practice uh, stuff. Go. So I, I was able to take advantage of those two and kind of piece all the practices together.